all right so what is going on today youtube we're going back in with the trap tricks deck now we did make a few changes because they were suggested in uh what's the name suggested in the comments now he did say add the um the side deck because these cards can easily go in here so we're definitely going to be using possibly some of these but um just for right now because somebody uh they suggested treasure uh what is it where's the treacherous um, Treasures Trap Hole and also to, uh, Starlight Road. So what I did was I took out Call of the Hunter, I took out one Ties of the Brother, and I took out the Chasm the Spike Trap Hole. Um, I took out one Ties because once again, um, if you guys did see the previous video, Ties only works with like the insects. So yeah, it's not too many times you're gonna actually because like if you have this and you want wait, where's the plant? If you have the plant, you're not gonna really be able to do it. But if you have the insects, you will. So you don't want it all the time, but you do want it some of the time. And also the chasm of spikes really didn't um we never really saw it but then once th then when you look at the effect it's not the greatest effect so um that's why we took that out once again we're just testing different cards and also um i took out one call of the hunted because this card is completely makes call of the hunted makes oasis of the dragon souls just completely useless because with this you can chain it your monster doesn't die this is just uh, my bad but there's clearly um, this is a card that we can possibly bump this to three because this card is completely outclassed in Call of the Hunted. Um, the only reason you really would want Call of the Hunted, um, if you just want to play Moat, like you want to play three of these and then some more special summons, but Call of the Hunted is not a bad card. It's just, this is just a lot better and it does pretty much the same thing, but it does it better because it's not attached to the monster. Um, you can't get MST pretty much once you activate it, unless they have like a warning or something, they can't really stop it. So that's good and uh yeah so we added the side deck now these cards will be coming in probably throughout the duel so what we're going to do throughout the video because what we're going to do right now is uh we're going to just play the first one see how this goes treacherous may not be good because we run too many so many a lot of traps so that means once we draw one trap this is pretty much dead because you can't use it with reflesia the card effect becomes i mean refuse reflesia's effect becomes treacherous that means that um if you have two traps in your if you have traps in your graveyard it's, you still can't use it pretty much so it pretty much be um, um pretty much you'd be wasting Reflesia's effect so what we're going to do is we're definitely going to just try out this see how this go goes with the first duel if we do get to use new cards and um, probably you know we never know we we'll probably get a couple of duels but if we do get the chance to use the new cards and they're not the best then we're going to just switch out and try some more of this stuff so without further ado we're going to hop straight into the video and like always, before a video starts, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. I try not to say video so damn much, but it just it just pops out. And here we go, going up against Cupcakes. Hopefully we do get to go first, and we do, and we've opened up pretty great. Now what we can do right now is we can go ahead and search the Treacherous, because I don't want Treacherous to be... Um, in the deck still so that's exactly what we're going to get here we're going to just start off the duel with the treacherous and the reason why treacherous is just really good right now uh, i mean getting first is because uh, not only can we stop our opponent's monsters even if they do do something stupid we could just treacherous each eat oh my god and he hits the two good ones like are you fucking kidding me well let's do this and activate the effect um uh, yeah, we can get the notorious rolls whip because once again, this pretty much you see this is the problem with treacherous. This is exactly the problem with treacherous is that once um, something dies, it's pretty much useless. So that's that's what that's what really hurts the deck. So I mean, we already got to use it, and this is why um, treacherous is good at, at you know like I said right there. If he didn't have the twin twister, but this is where Starlight Road comes in also. But yeah, Treacherous, like I said, because these uh, this is unaffected by trap cards or trap hole cards, we can just use Treacherous to pop itself and pop another card and then pretty much get a free um, pop pretty much with Treacherous. And also, if your opponent does decide they want to spam, you can pop two of them. So Treacherous is decent, but once again, the big drawback is that you cannot use it when you have traps in your grave. So pretty much this is a dead card. There's nothing really we can do with it. So <clears throat> Cupcakes look like he is thinking about activating Toy Vendor, which doesn't make sense. Just activating so he can come on. But I think he's reading this thinking that if he activate the effect of Toy Vendor, then he won't be able to activate, uh, what's the thing, continue to activate uh, other spells and traps. So hopefully 
he does um, believe that. He doesn't get the toy vendor's hurts, but um, I kind of want him to play at his best ability. But then again, that's not my fault if you don't if you don't know how cards work. That is completely not up to me. And this one, once again, this has been a, a thing that I've been seeing lately. Um, there's only twelve. At, why you're playing fluffles? Like there's no reason to have twelve. Can't nobody explain unless you're playing like domain, domain, or you playing a specific extra deck theme deck. There's still there's no reason for you to run twelve or less than fifteen. You can find three extra cards to put in. So <clears throat> looks like Cupcake is going to be soft and quit. Um, yeah. So I guess that uh we're gonna have to wait, but. I'm going to go ahead and pause it because I don't. I know you guys don't want to sit here and look at this. Be right back. All right. So with that being said, we're going to definitely take out trap pole. Um, we're going to possibly let's put in. Um, let's try another. Oh, yeah, we already have two. Um, what else do we need? Uh, do do we need some? Uh, let's try, let's try some spell and trap destruction. Let's go ahead and take out treacherous. Um, two time spaces. All right. Um, you know what? Just for the sake of the video, hmm, what does this one do? Um, that's actually really good. Uh, what do you do? That's pretty good. I like all of these cards. Hmm. What does it say? You can activate trap cards from your hand? Uh, no, if you activate a normal trap card, you can add to your hand or special summon to trap tricks. Hmm, that's good, but this shit, a lot of these miss timing. Don't we have one already? Yeah, we already got one, so let's see how that works. Um, hmm, I guess we could take out a, a, a time space and put in uh, the second. Let's see if we can do something with these and be right back. All right, here we go against Dennis. Let's see if we can do something against Dennis. Why did I pick paper? Jesus Christ, Dennis is just doing the thug thizzle right now. Let's go. We get we won. We run a wire paper scissors. It's a very, a very okay. Well, this is not the greatest. But what does it say? Um. All right. If you activate a whole normal, okay. Well, let's just use this one day a piece. Once again. Wait a minute. Is this the same? This ain't the same guy. We can normal summon this, huh? Well, let's go ahead and do this. I hope this is not. This is can't be the same guy because his name is Cupcakes. Unless he just changes his name, then we should be good. At least we can't die this turn. We have a dimensional barrier, so if he is playing fluffles, we're decent. Um, oh, okay, we can do a lot with this. What we can do? Okay, all right. Well, that that definitely is going to be activated on rituals, and um, we're going to put that right in defense mode and summon that rose whip and get to going. Rose whip is 400 attack, so rose whip can go ahead and get right on over that. This dimensional barrier should be fancy, real fancy. Um, go ahead and call rituals and this 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 is this is this card is really gonna become obsolete when leaks Jesus Christ Dennis Jesus Christ All right, I thought we were gonna start a duel here, but we didn't all right So let's go against tattoo of Fort. No, nope, not gonna do it. All right. Be right back All righty then going up against snow sniper Wow, it says snow sniper snow snow Cyber all right. What do you do? Um, you can activate trap hook from your hand that is pretty good um but i think this is the best card to actually search um and then we can go ahead and get a floodgate that's 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 pretty good um set this and set this set this um and set this because we are playing a trap tricks deck we are doing pretty good now um if i did have another trap tra trap hole card except for Ramillo, i just would have normal some of this and set Dimensional Barrier and Heavy Dust Storm, and then uh, for Dungold, my opponent, we're playing Bujins. That is fine, I guess. No, it isn't fine because you are 1700. I can't, I thought this was 1800, folks. Unless I definitely would have, uh, all right, no, let's not do that. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and normal summon this this attack with 16 I did not even check the defense but I knew it was low I knew I knew it was low so we can do this and uh, since we do play Reflesia we're definitely gonna go into that this is unaffected by trap cards so now we can get everything going 
Um, this heavy dust storm is going to be pretty good. This reflase is going to be pretty good. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and probably, I don't know. He, he might summon Fujin Turtle. What do you protect? A beast warrior, correct? You know what? I'm not going to do anything to that because if I did do something to that, he was just going to probably activate Fujin Carnation, which uh, sucks. Okay, well, can't do anything about that, huh? We do have this time space, but I don't, I don't think this man wants to. Uh, ooh, Fujin Yamato. Uh, hmm. You know what? No, we want to put all that in the graveyard. Go ahead and do what you got to do, young man. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Go ahead and do what you got to do, Snow Snow, Snow Cyber. So, <clears throat> we do have a time and space. So, uh, but you probably think we're going to probably bottom us, but I'm kind of trying, I'm trying to get this heavy dust storm off, but I don't want to just do it on one. And um, what really sucks is that, um, there we go. There we go. That's what I want to see. There we go. That's 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 a good boy. That's a good boy. Good good job, Snow ah, Snow Cyber. There we go. Good good fucking job. Now set another card so we can get busy. Set another card so we can get busy. You don't want to do it. You you are a fucking punk. Oh my god, we got a warning. And this is the problem <laughs> with, with trap decks. You can't. I mean, this is um this is just what happens. Um, because you're playing a whole bunch of traps. Royal Decree, where are you? I hope you don't play the Royal Decree because I'll be very upset. Um, no, let's uh, yeah, let's do it now. Let's send bottomless. Let's uh, detach this. And the reason why I did that is because I do want to activate this front lines, but I'm pretty sure he has Bujan Carnations. All right, so let's activate this front line because I want to do some damn damage today. I want to do some damn damage, and he's 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 playing around. He, that's what he's doing. We're not going to sit here and wait for him. Oh, he drew that. Okay, well that's what you get for playing. All right, here we go. All right, now now we're we're in business, folks. We are in fucking business. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. Um, search a Dianera. So I, I would just believe we're fine right now. Hit him with fifteen. Um, wait, what does that do? Oh wow. Okay, so we can definitely protect against the Twin Twister. I forgot about that card. I mean, I mean, not forgot about that card, but I'm, I forgot about the second effect of this card. What do you have in your hand that you could, you know, drop? Um, so I believe we're good. We have a heavy dust storm. We also have a solemn morning. We have a dimensional bearer. So worst case, it's unaffected by trap effects. So I can dimensional barrier and call what's the name? Um, um, I get yeah, let's just do that. Let's just let's just hit him with a warning because there's no other reason not to. Foolish is fine. Zephyros, okay. So let's go ahead and activate this because he, he may act okay. Never mind. What do you do? Why can't I use anything? Um what do you do? Um, hmm. He's probably going to put that in defense mode. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and send, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that right now. Because uh, there's no reason, real, real reason to wait. We have a Dianer, so we can get that back. Um, yeah, like I said, he was going to put it in defense mode, and we could just regeki and just be on about our way. It's the beast warrior. Yes, it is. We can't actually get to. I mean, yeah, we can. We can set. Come on, set your card, young man. Snatch. Ah. I keep looking at his name and then keep trying to talk. So I was about to say, snatch your card. Um, okay. Oh, he's going into his main phase two. He has the centipede, not the centipede, peacock. No, he doesn't. He's just doing dumb shit. Okay. Well, that's fine. You can keep your dumb shit. Oh, look at that. We drew a regeki. Uh, not a regeki, but we drew a maxi, which is a pretty good card. Sadly, we have not drawn the Naturia card, which really sucks. 
but you know what? It's going to be okay. Because, no. I'm okay, yeah. I'm just going to discard this. Yeah, there's, there's no reason not to. Oh, wow, he had a Bujan Crane. Bam, get this. Um, I guess go Castile. Then, oh my, why am I fucking an idiot? Oh, I'm an idiot. I was just, oh damn, I was really finna just lose the game just now. Because <laughs> he has a, the the one that. Oh wait, wait, never mind. Did he banish it? No, he didn't. He has the one that negates and destroys. Correct. No, you just negate the effect. All right, so it was still game, but pay attention, folks. Pay attention. And we get we we're surprisingly running through these duels pretty fast. I believe this is the fourth duel. I think somebody quit. Yeah, somebody quit. Be right back. Never mind, because this man is um he is we're playing a match. Okay, so with that being said, um. Yeah, these are going to come in a lot handier than we think. Um, since we're probably going to be going second, I don't think uh, Ties of Brethren could be real good. These are not going to be the greatest. He's probably going to put in what's the name. So let's throw that in there. Imperial Order. No, we're not going to need that. Um, da -da -da -da. Maxi is definitely a no-go. Um, two Dark Holes is definitely going to be needed. Um, ta -da 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 -ta 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 -ta. we got to take out as much traps as we can. Um, we can take out one time space because that's probably not going to be the greatest thing to have. And hmm, what else? What else is not good against Bujans? Trap tricks and the Hellmills Nightmare is pretty good. Dimensional Barrier is very good. Instant Fusion, we need that. One day of peace. I mean, I'm guessing Soul Charge. We can take Soul Charge out. Um, because I, I believe we're going to go be going second. Yeah, we are. And there we go. We have opened up Ties of the Brethren with a insect. So we're good. We're real good. Is this an insect too? No, that's a plant. So, but we can do a lot though. We can do a lot. We do have a heavy dust storm. Um, sadly, we're not. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's cool because what he's going to get is absolutely nothing that is very frightening. That is very frightening. I don't know why I said that. That is, that is a very frightening field. And um, we have opened up with the... What is this, a plant? No, that's an insect. Well, we're going to do this first. Um, yeah, this is not going to end up pretty well. I'm guessing we target itself here? Yeah, we want to keep these going. I guess we can... Uh, what's the name? We can use it, our own ties of the brethren. Um, let's get you and you. Are you in defense mode? No, that's not. Oh, no, that's not the card I was talking. Oh, it's a plant. Okay, well, folks, it looks like um, it looks like they have uh, came back because what he's going to be able to do is uh, use that one card known as Susuwano and destroy everything on my board. I think we lose this. I think we lose this round because of Susuwano and we forget that Susuwano is actually a card. I complete. Oh no, he's going to do the dumb thing and go into Oh, I think he th thinks I have a trap down here. Um but that's 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 fine. We did draw 9 monsters. I mean, have we did draw 5 monsters. I mean, 4 monsters and um a spell. So that's that's pretty that's pretty um that is pretty awful but that's uh that's fine right there and then with this being a beast warrior i mean with uh Sus Wano being a beast warrior on the field it doesn't i mean it doesn't look like we're gonna have any protection as in our back row but i don't know why he goes utopia that was not the smartest move i would think i would think going into a Sus Wano first is the better option i think going into double susu 10 we might okay well he's going starly oh okay um he's scared of my back row but hmm oh we lose no we don't we, we survive by 500 you guys we survive by five fucking hundred that is crazy um what does it say 
You can target one spell and trap you control. We turn that to the hand. All right, so we survive by 500. We survive. By, that is, I don't know why I keep saying it, but that's what, that's what the hell is happening. We survive by 500 because he didn't know. I, I don't. Can you not go so Suono? I'm pretty sure he can, right? Yeah, right. He can, right? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you could. Um, you don't want to set back row because you you hate me. All right, we can't use that. What we can use is Dianera to get that. And this is okay. So I know what we do here. We do you, and we get back you. Why does this not work? Only only when it's the only summon. That ain't that about a bitch. Um. So here we go into this character. We go into this character right here, and then we go ahead and um, activate, and we go ahead and take this, and yeah, we go ahead and um, hit hit over that because that's the only thing we can really do right now, because for some odd reason they don't want us to uh, what's the name? They don't want us to win, but it's okay. John Time Space has a terrible time. Uh, but we can possibly get it. We can possibly stay with this one, folks. But he just ha cannot draw any type of Beast Warrior Bujin. And it doesn't look like he is drawing a lot of Beast Warrior Fusions. Uh, why did I say Fusions? Beast Warrior Monsters. Um, But yeah, we, we, may, we may lose this one here, folks. If he's going to send Zephyros, then that means that, yeah, he doesn't have anything. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's give him no chance at all. Let's give him no chance at all. Let him have something. Because it looks like he doesn't have anything, which is crazy. Do you seriously not have anything? And you know what? I could have did a lot of better. But I could have just normal summoned this and searched another Dianera. And just went and, oh, and you kept the other Dianera in hand. That would have been a lot. That would have been a way better play. So it te something tells me he only has one level four in his hand, which is going to suck for him because if he does not produce a good, if he doesn't do anything, okay, there he goes. I was about to say because if you don't do anything, I'm just going to kill you. I'm just going to kill you. And this is not a beast warrior, so none of these trigger, correct? Ye Bujin, wait, Bujin Monster, okay. Bujin Beast Warrior. Wow, and you, wow, wow, you did that. Okay, One Day of Peace is a fantastic card. One Day of Peace is a fan-fucking-tastic card right now. Please don't have anything. I'm going to search Dynera. And let's turn this all to attack mode. Hopefully we don't lose. Hopefully we don't get honest. And we do we survive against Snow Cyber? I don't know why that's so hard to say. Forbidden fucking chalice. Okay. Well that that's understandable. I'm I don't I don't know, folks. We're not probably playing against the greatest of individuals. Because you're still gonna lose a hundred, sir. And we're going to attack with that. No, we don't need... You know what? Let's just put this ignore chain on. And then attack, ignore chain. Then what we do in main phase two is we can activate one day of peace, which is probably not the greatest thing to do. Oh, but we drew a starlight road. So now it was the greatest thing to do. Let's do that. And for some... We, we, we are... Um, just by the skin of our teeth, we are surviving when he should have clearly killed my card. But you know what? It. I think, I mean, I wouldn't have ended with a Rephlasia. All right, so there we go. Yeah, you're going to go ahead and get that. Um, yeah, you're getting that booked, young man. That's getting booked. That is getting booked. At all costs, you're getting booked. A book of the moon. You're getting book of the moon. And you can't even set cards because I'm just going to pop it. Because I have a young... Well, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go Dianera. If he doesn't, if he doesn't set a back row, but I mean that's kind of obvious. If he doesn't set a back row, and you only have 200 defense, so what that means is that I can turn this into attack mode and actually win. And we've drawn the best card in the game. We've actually drawn the best card in the game. 
which is uh, what's the name? Which is Notoria uh, Bamboo. No, I was about to, I was about to say Bamboo Shoot, um, but it's Notoria Sacred Tree. And let's turn this right to attack. Oops, almost lost the game. That's tw that's thirty eight right there. So let's go ahead and try and win the game because he only has two hundred. He only has two hundred. What the fuck? Oh, I was about to say. What the fuck is that going on? He doesn't have no damn honors for his defense. So, yeah, here we go. And we have came through with a victory. Man, what a comeback. Even though I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have even had a comeback because he should have clearly attacked. But no, maybe. No, no, no. Yeah, because I wouldn't have had a Rephlasia. And he would have probably beat over my... Uh, no, I wouldn't have took the damage. I would have had Starlight Road. Then I would have, oh no, I would have had Dianero, so I could have Castelled. No, I couldn't have Castelled because he has that. I don't know. No, I could have went um, Utopia and probably attacked for game. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I did have pretty much a lot of fun playing this deck. I always do have a lot of fun playing this deck. So, thank you guys. See you guys next week with some more videos. And, uh, yeah, that is it for today. Oh, yeah, wait. No, I might be uploading on the weekend. A couple of Mugen videos. I know. I, I don't know if you guys seen those, but yeah, I just probably might upload that.